Okay, be honest with me. How many of you have a desk that looks like this? I know I do. SD cards everywhere, external hard drives you can never find when you need them, and your phone is constantly nagging you about storage. But what if I told you that there is a way to have unlimited storage, blazing fast speeds, and complete privacy? And it costs less than what you'd pay for cloud storage in just one year. This is the Ugreen NAS DH4300 Plus, and it's about to completely change how you think about storing your photos, videos, and files. I'm talking about having your own personal cloud server right in your own home. Now, I know you might be thinking that sounds really complicated, but stick with me because in the next eight minutes, I'm going to show you exactly why this might be the smartest tech purchase that you make this year. This video is sponsored by Ugreen. So let's start with the basics. What the heck is a NAS? It stands for Network Attached Storage. But think of it like this. You know how you use Google Drive or iCloud? A NAS is basically that, but instead of your files living on some company's servers halfway around the world, they live right in your own home or wherever you store your NAS. Now here's the thing that really got my attention. I was paying Google $10 a month for two terabytes of storage. That's about $120 per year. Over three years, we're talking about $360. And that's just for two terabytes, which I fill up way too quickly with all of my videos. Plus, uploading my giant photos and 4K videos to the cloud was painfully slow. And then there's a the privacy thing. Your photos, your personal videos, and your business documents, they're all sitting on someone else's computers if you're using a cloud like Google. Sure, they say that it's encrypted and secure, but we've all heard the stories, right? The Ugreen NAS solves all of these problems. It's like having your own personal Google Drive, but faster, more private, and after that initial purchase, no more monthly fees ever again. Think of it as your own personal cloud that never leaves your house. So let's see what we're working with here. First impressions matter, and Ugreen definitely doesn't go cheap on the packaging. Inside of the box, you get the NAS unit itself, as well as a power adapter, ethernet cable, and a quick start guide. That's really it. The build quality feels really solid. It's not just a flimsy plastic box. This has some real weight to it. From the top, you access these drive bays that we'll get to you in a second. And around the back, you have your power, ethernet, and USB ports. Size-wise, it's about as big as a small shoe box. So it's not gonna dominate your desk or your entertainment center. But here's the real question. How hard is it to set up? Because let's be real, nobody wants to spend their weekend becoming an IT professional just to back up their vacation photos. So let's get into the setup. So after unboxing it, this is the unit you want to take off the top. Uh, the top is nice because it has these little vents in the back so that the unit can let off some steam. It has never overheated in my experience, but just because of the nature of it, it's hard drives. They can get a little warm at times, and this helps to regulate the temperature. So we're gonna take off the top. And now you have all of these little plastic things here. This is where your hard drives go. Now you do need to buy these separately, but that's actually a good thing because then you can choose exactly how much storage you want. I have some here by Western Digital, which is a really reputable company. I've used many of their standalone hard drives before, but this NAS unit is compatible with pretty much every major hard drive brand. I'll put a link below to the compatible hard drives, but basically if you can buy it on Amazon or Best Buy, it'll probably work with this NAS. And so within the NAS enclosure here, I'm just gonna pinch the sides and pull out one of these little plastic bays, I think is what they're called. And so you're going to stick your actual hard drive inside of the plastic enclosure here. Now, when you do, you might notice that it's a pretty loose fit. And so Ugreen does include some tiny little screws as well as a screwdriver. And you can, and you should, use the uh, screws in the screwdriver to physically attach the hard drive to the enclosure here. That just makes for a lot more uh, secure fit. Once you have your hard drive secured inside of the enclosure, you're gonna pop it back inside, just like that. So after your hard drives are installed, you're gonna put the top back on, and then, we gotta go to our cables here. So this is the uh, power cord. You do have to supply power uh, via an external source. And so we're gonna plug in the uh, cables so we can power it on. All right, we're gonna plug this puppy in and press the power button up front. Very smooth, very quiet. Okay, next up, we're gonna take our ethernet cable 
and we're gonna attach the NAS to a computer because it does need to be hard hardwired. But that's actually why it's so fast. Step three, you're gonna download the app to your phone and follow the setup wizard. And check this out, you can even use NFC to connect. You just tap your phone on the NAS and boom, it automatically finds it on your network. The setup wizard literally walks you through everything step by step. So you start by creating your admin accounts, set up your first user, and choose your storage configuration. And that's really it. So it really is a pretty quick setup time. As long as you have everything in order, again, make sure you have those hard drives because you do need to install them. That is a big part of the setup. So now let's talk about capacity because this is where things really get interesting. This particular NAS model can handle up to 120 terabytes of storage. To put that into perspective, that's about 41 million photos, over 80,000 movies, or 125 million files. Like you could store every photo you'll ever take in your whole lifetime and probably not fill this thing up. Unless of course you take a lot of photos like I do and I might actually meet that limit at some point. <laughs> but here's the kicker. Even if you max out the hard drives, you're still paying less per terabyte than you would with cloud storage over just a couple of years. Plus, no monthly fees ever again. You can start small with just one hard drive and add more as you need them. It's totally modular. And if you fill up one hard drive, you can replace it with another. So really, the storage capacity is endless in that perspective. So storage is great, but in terms of performance, I think the speed is really where this NAS shines. All right, let's try uploading this file. So it's a 2.58 gigabyte file. We're gonna upload it to the NAS and see how long it takes. All right, our upload is complete. It took uh, four and a half minutes to upload that same file to the NAS, which is you know less than half of the time that it took to upload to Google Drive. Now let's go ahead and take, I've got like 315 files that I shot with my iPhone from a recent family vacation. And so let's go ahead and try to upload all 315 files, first to Google Drive and then to my NAS, and see how long it takes. All right, so Google Drive, the calculated or estimated speed kept fluctuating for a while, but it ended up taking about three hours to upload 315 files. <laughs> so it was a long time. Now my NAS, it wasn't instantaneous, but it took 40 minutes. So compare that to three hours, like that is so much shorter. And now I can access these files from anywhere. That means within my house, if I'm sitting in one room with my laptop and my NAS is in another room, I can still access my files. Or if I'm on vacation or traveling somewhere, which I often am, I can be in a coffee shop or a hotel room on my computer. My NAS can be at home and I can still access those files. And here's where things really get cool. Remember how I said this was more than just storage? The Ugreen NAS has built an AI that automatically organizes your photos. Watch this, I just dumped 500 random photos into the system and it's automatically sorting them by people. Look how it found all the photos of my son, my husband, and even vacation photos by location. It creates these smart albums automatically. So photos of animals, landscapes, food, people. It's like having a personal assistant organizing your entire photo library. And check this out, it even finds similar or duplicate photos and gives me a suggestion about which one is best to keep. Also, the interface is really clean and intuitive. If you can use Google Photos, you can definitely use this. But where this really shines is with multiple users. I can create separate accounts for everyone in my family. My husband gets his own space, the kids get theirs, and I can control exactly what each person can access. Like I can give my husband full control to the family photos folder, but he can't see my work files. Or other family members can access this folder, but they can't accidentally delete anything important. And remember that NFC feature? Anyone in the family can just tap their phone and instantly connect to their account. So no one has to remember crazy IP addresses or complicated login procedures. Everyone can access their files from anywhere. Phone, tablet, laptop, it really doesn't matter. I can be looking at family vacation photos on my phone while my husband is editing work documents on his computer, all from the same NAS. 
Now let's talk about security, because this is probably the biggest advantage to using your own NAS or private cloud over something like Google or Apple. All of your data stays right here in your house on the drives that you own. It never gets uploaded to some company's servers where you have no control over it. But Ugreen didn't just leave you hanging on security. It also includes built-in security manager that scans for viruses in real time. It also manages your user permissions and even lets you set up encryption. So basically, it gives you granular control over who can access what. You want to share some photos with family but keep your work files private? Easy. Or give a client access to specific project files? Done. Now compare that to cloud storage where you're basically trusting that some massive corporation will keep your data safe and private forever. With this, you're in complete control. All right, so after a few weeks of using the Ugreen NAS, here's my honest take. Let's start with the pros. First of all, super easy to set up. Like you don't have to be technologically inclined at all. I feel like it's pretty intuitive. Also, the speed of uploading your files is so fast compared to trying to do it on Google Drive or iCloud. Uh, this does depend on how fast your home network speed is, but um, in my experience, like it was so much faster. Also, I really do like that AI photo assistant. It uh, really helps me call my images and make sure that I'm keeping the best ones and also organize them. Finally, I am super excited to not have to pay another monthly storage fee again. And also having that peace of mind knowing that all of my data is private, sitting at home in my own home network. But as for the cons, you know, the biggest one to me is that upfront cost because again, you do have to buy your own hard drives. And so depending on the size or how many you're gonna buy, that could be a pretty significant investment. But again, keep in mind that once you do that, you don't have to pay the monthly storage fee again. So, you know, it's kind of a trade-off. You just have to budget for it ahead of time. Also, it's important to remember that your NAS always has to be connected to a router, which means that your data is portable in the sense that you can access it from anywhere. But again, you just have to have that NAS online somewhere, ideally in your house or a home base. And uh, if something does happen to your house or your home base, then you probably want another backup plan. So to me, I, th I still think that old rule of having more than one backup system comes into play, where you want to have one, but also two or maybe even three forms of backing up your really important data. So with all that in mind, who is a NAS for? I think the real question is, who isn't it for? You know, nowadays we all have a camera in our pockets and I don't know about you, but I am constantly running into storage issues on my phone. And that's when I'm using it, you know, professionally to capture media, or if I'm doing it, you know, just for fun, capturing vacation photos and videos, I'm always running into storage problems. And so if you're like me, then you're definitely going to find a NAS to be super helpful. And especially if you're fed up with having to pay for monthly storage to access iCloud or Google Drive or something like that. So if this sounds like something that might be helpful for you, I have a link in the description below, as well as a discount code for 20% off if you want to learn more about the Ugreen NAS. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing because I will have future videos about tech that will help make your life easier. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.